This short video illustrates a few simple pivot table options that you should definitely be aware of. It illustrates how you can select an entire pivot table and possibly copy or move it, and how you can either clear or delete a pivot table. Here is a typical pivot table. If I want to select it, I could drag the range in the usual way. However, this might not be convenient if the pivot table extends beyond the screen boundaries. A better way is to use the Select Entire Pivot Table option on the Pivot Table Tools Analyze ribbon. Actually, once the pivot table is selected, the other items on this drop down list are enabled for other select options. Note that if there are any fields in the Filters area, they are selected as well. However, slicers are not selected. Once the pivot table is selected, you can perform several actions on it. For example, you can copy it with Ctrl-C and then paste it to get a new instance of this pivot table. The two instances are based on the same pivot cache, but they can be manipulated independently. However, if there are any slicers for the original pivot table, they would control the copy as well. Similarly, you can move a selected pivot table to another location with the Move Pivot Table button. I will move this pivot table to a new worksheet. Perhaps surprisingly, any existing slicers still controlled the moved pivot table. Even though they are now on a different worksheet. To avoid confusion, I should probably move slicers to the new worksheet. One more option is to clear a selected pivot table. Note, however, that clearing isn't the same as deleting. You might want to clear a pivot table if you have made a total mess of things and you want to start over. But when you clear, the pivot table is still there, it's just blank. By the way, the Clear Filters item in this drop down list provides an easy way to clear all filters, including those from slicers. Finally, if you want to delete a pivot table altogether, you can either delete the worksheet it's on, or you can select it and press delete. Then the pivot table is totally gone. 